Hi guys, how's it going? It's A-Master back. Uh, sorry, it's been a while uh, doing one of these videos. I uh, just hadn't really had time to do it a lot with work and stuff. But I'm here to do it now and hope you guys enjoy. Uh, first thing I'd like to start off today with, uh, there will be a new Battlefield update sometime this month. Oh, and or in March. Not real quite sure when. Uh, I don't see a release date at all. Some of this stuff is being changed around a little bit, like... The G3 A1 losing some of its accuracy. I guess people are complaining it's too accurate or something. There'll be changes to the FAMAS also. And I really don't know much of what else there is, but there'll be an article down below. If you guys want to check it out and read it, you guys can uh, get more details on it. That would, it would be, take too long for me to read the entire thing. Now, you, I'm pretty sure you guys heard about a rumor at some point about a third-person Call of Duty game. Well, that third-person Call of Duty game got cancelled. It was going to be called Call of Duty Devil's Brigade, and it got cancelled. It was just a small team working on it, wasn't anything big. Apparently they started it back when the first Modern Warfare was, you know, starting to come out. But it got cancelled. I don't really know why, but it got cancelled. really sucks. I really don't know how I would actually like a third-person Call of Duty. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't like it that much, but give or take, if you're a third person guy, or if you're first person, or really racing, really, really doesn't matter, but me, I don't think I'd like a th third person Call of Duty. And since I'm already saying about Call of Duty, curious on everybody's opinion, do you really think Call of Duty Black Ops should be number one on the Guinness Book of World Records for best game ending ever? The end of the campaign. Apparently it's the best there ever has been. Do you really think it should hold the title as number one? I mean, it, I mean, come on, it beat Halo Reach, Legend of Zelda. Don't know why Modern Warfare 2 is this high on number four, but it beat that. God of War, Portal, Heavy Rain, Final Fantasy, Metal Gear Solid even. Apparently Black Ops is better than all of those games. Even Red Dead Redemption. And apparently that one got Game of the Year, so... I don't know why it, Black Ops beat it. I mean, pretty much what they're saying is Black Ops is better than any game you can think of right now. Think of a game right now that you think should be number one, and that beat it. I mean, I don't know why it, it's doing it got that, doing so well kind of thing. I don't, I don't know why. I mean, Black Ops was great and all, but it wasn't the best ending. Call of Duty games, their campaigns are horrible. They're, they're just rushed. I mean, they have a plot to them, but... I mean, that plot came from, you know, them thinking about it, and they're just agging it on with the games, you know, continuing it. So, I don't know why it's, they got the best. Because it's, just, it's horrible. I mean, Black Ops, I know it's going by the campaign, but going with multiplayer too, you know, all aspects. It just really wasn't that great. But then again, compared to Modern Warfare 3... Go ahead, hate me on it. But I think Black Ops was better than Modern Warfare 3. There. Now, I say that because of all the stuff that they had in it. Versus Modern Warfare 3 being rushed and it's a piece of crap. Which, I'll get into that into a later video. Yeah, the next thing on the list... Apparently in the next Call of Duty, Black Ops 2... Apparently, they're gonna try and find a balance between the ever-debating battle of quickscopers and hardscopers. Apparently they're going to try and find some sort of, you know, mix to coincide with each other. And I don't really think they're really going to get that. I mean, they're, they're going to try, don't be wrong. But I don't think they're really going to get it. Because they just default with quickscopers. If you guys hate quickscopers, you know what I mean. They're ignorant. They're loud, they think they're better than you, they think they're MLG beast mode, and that they're, and of course you hear all the time from these quick scoping hardcore guys that they're sponsored, and they're GB, and blah blah blah, they're just really good. And if you hard scope, you're terrible, you're a noob, if you use any other weapons, you're horrible, you don't know how to play the game, play it right, use a sniper rifle, it's gotta be a bolt action, can't be a semi-automatic. That's kind of a pain in, you know, that's kind of a pain in the butt. So, 
Now, with hard scopers, yeah, they think quick scoping is overpowered. It's cheap. Takes no skill. It's easy to do. And it's just the cheapest thing to do. So, there's an ever debate between the two. So, with whatever, they're going to try and bond it all together and try and make it at peace, which they're not going to do. So pretty much, at the end of this article, they're going to, as it says, they're going to try and find a medium balance between the two to where each side of quickscopers and hardscopers are equally pissed off. Because they can't, they can't just make it perfect for everyone. Well, they could, but it would take a lot of work. And since it's Call of Duty, they don't put enough work into their game, so they're not going to do it. So, they can't just make it where even like, a split multiplayer, half of it, you know, the whatever, the, the glitch, the exploit in the game's engine with the uh, aim assist being in one playlist. And then in the normal playlist, it you can't do it. So, they, I don't know why they can't do that, or if they might, I don't know, but they're probably not. So, hopefully that'll actually be decent in Black Ops 2. I don't really see it being that good, but, you know, they can surprise me. They haven't really done it before, but they might. Call of Duty Elite. The Operations for Clans is now available. Took them long enough. You know, when everybody bought Elite and everything, and when it was released, they're like, yeah, let's do all the clan operations and do all these tournaments and win stuff, and yeah. But it wasn't available. But it is now. So, if you have Call of Duty Elite, you got a big clan going, a bunch of founders, blah, blah, blah. You guys can go do that now. It is currently available. Don't really know how good it is. I haven't tried it myself. But, I don't know if I'm going to. But, I will attempt it. So, whenever I can actually get a good group of people, so. And if you guys want to do one of those, you know, try one of those clan operations and need another guy, you know, let me know. I'll check out how you guys play, and if I'm, you know, if I'm interested, sure, I'll, I'll try it out with you. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. If you guys liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. I'll be having a giveaway video for hitting 500 subs, and if you guys want, you know, keep up with that, I mean, you can check back, you know, see if it's there. But being subscribed would be a lot easier. It'd be a controller case. I'll show you a little hands-on video of it. You know, if you got to win, you know, all the stuff will be in the details in the video. If you guys want to check out one of my other videos, uh, the last tech news before this one will be the one on the left, and the bear the two two one. If you guys want to see that, it'll be the one on the right. So go ahead and click those videos if you want to go check those out, and you guys have a nice day.